Hello there, Mr. Sutton here bringing you the AB Calculus 514 Extra Practice Number 1 Solutions on Integration by Substitution with Indefinite Integrals. To find this indefinite integral, I notice here uh, that there's no way to really simplify this fraction, but I do have a function, e to the 5x plus 3, and its derivative, e to the 5x, in the same problem. So I'm going to try the technique of substitution. Let's let u equal this e to the 5x plus 3 term down here. You could almost think of uh, this denominator as counting as an inner function. And then the derivative of that, du, is going to be 5e to the 5x dx. So then dividing, we can get uh, dx equaling du over 5e to the 5x. And now substituting back over here, we can replace e to the 5x plus 3 with u, and dx with du over 5e to the 5x. So in this situation, the e to the 5x's are going to cancel out, and 20 over 5 gives us a 4. Antiderivative of 4 over u is going to be ln absolute value of u plus c. And then we can substitute the u back in if we want. So that'll be a 4 ln absolute value of e to the 5x plus 3 plus c. Only you can actually drop the uh, absolute value if you wanted because e to the 5x plus 3 has to be a positive value. You have an exponential plus a positive. No way that's going to come out negative anyway. For this problem, trying to take this antiderivative, there isn't really a good way to simplify this um, to make the antiderivative easier. So instead, since I noticed that I have a, an inner function, this cosine of 2x function, and its derivative, sine of 2x, in the same problem, I'm going to try some substitution. Let's let u equal this 5 plus cosine of 2x part here. Um, so at some point, I would love to be able to call this u to the third power downstairs. Um, to get there, we have to take the derivative of u over on this right side. So we can say du equals, and let's see here, this is going to be negative 2, co, uh, two sine of 2x dx. And then isolating dx that I can substitute back in for it later on, I can write du over negative 2 sine of 2x. All right, uh, substituting things back in. Sine of 2x is still there. Down below now, we're going to have u to the third power. And this dx is being replaced by this du fraction over here. So when the dust settles, we can cancel out the sine of 2x. This is going to be uh, negative 1 half u to the negative third power, if we simplify things a little bit. And notice I'm also putting u as a negative exponent in order to make the reverse power rule a little bit easier. So now if I uh, bump that exponent up to a negative 2 and divide by that, I'm going to have positive 1 fourth u to the negative 2 power plus c. And then if I wanted to, I can just substitute this 5 plus cosine of 2x term back in there. So we have 1 fourth parentheses 5 plus cosine of 2x raised to the negative 2 power plus c. Trying to take this antiderivative, I notice that if I try to expand this parentheses and distribute and simplify, it's going to be a long, huge mess. Um, so another technique we could use here, since I notice that we have an inner function with a, an x to the fifth and something that has a derivative of an x to the fifth with an x to the fourth out here. Since I notice this, we can try using some substitution instead. Let's let u equal this inner stuff here, negative 3x to the fifth minus 1. And then we can write du equals negative 15x to the fourth dx. And then we can write dx equals du over negative 15x to the fourth. So we basically got dx by itself. I'm substituting back in here now. I can rewrite this as negative 15x to the fourth times u to the fifth times du over negative 15x to the fourth. The negative 15x to the fourth actually cancel out completely. Um, so it, the, the coefficients didn't have to cancel. That's just kind of a bonus. But the x to the fourths did have to cancel. So we end up with just u to the fifth du. And now I can just use my reverse power rule on u. So this bumps up to an exponent of 6. Dividing by that, we have 1 over 6 u to the 6th power plus c. And then if you want, you can substitute this uh, u term back in here. So we can call this 1 over 6 parentheses 
negative 3x to the fifth minus 1 quantity raised to the sixth, all of that plus c. On this one, we're trying to find the indefinite integral of this crazy polynomial. Since simplifying this would be a nightmare, um, and since we have a, an inner function, this 4 plus x squared, whose derivative, something with an x, is somewhere else in the problem, it's worth trying to use substitution on this. So I'm going to let u equal 4 plus x squared. And then we have to take the derivative of that, so we can write du equals 2x dx. And then isolating the dx, we have du over 2x. So now we have some things we can swap back in here to get this in terms of u. So we still have the x out there, but now we have u to the 10th power. And instead of dx, we have du over 2x. The x's are going to cancel. So we can write this as 1 half u to the 10th du. Now I can just use my reverse power rule. This exponent bumps up to an 11. Dividing by that, we have 1 over 22 u to the 11th plus c. And we can swap this 4 plus x squared back in here for u and call it a day. For this problem, in order to start integrating this one, I notice that I have an inner function x cubed plus 1, and the derivative of that function, something with an x squared, is also in the problem. So I'm going to try the technique of substitution here. Let me let u equal x cubed plus 1. And then I can write du equals 3x squared dx using our derivative. So that means dx is equivalent to du over 3x squared. Substituting that stuff back in here, I've got x squared times the square root of just u. And then we have a du over 3x squared instead of a dx. These x squareds are going to cancel. Rewriting things in a, a little bit of an easier form, I can write 1 third times u to the 1 half power d uh, du. And at this point, I can just use my reverse power rule. This exponent here is going to bump up to 3 halves, which means we're going to be multiplying by 2 thirds. That gives us 2 ninths u to the 3 halves plus c. And then I'll just replace u with x cubed plus 1. And there we are. On this problem, since I can't really simplify this expression in any way, and I have multiplication, and I have an inner function, cosine, whose derivative, sine, is also in the problem, all of these things are telling me I should try substitution on this. So let me let u equal the inner function here, cosine of theta. So then we can write the derivative, du equals negative sine of theta, d theta. And then if I divide by negative sine of theta, we have d theta equals du over negative sine of theta. Now I can do some substitutions. So in write, instead of writing cosine to the fourth of theta, this is now going to be u to the fourth. We still have sine of theta, and d theta is getting swapped out for du over negative sine of theta. Now I can cancel out these sine thetas, leaving me with a negative u to the fourth du. Using my reverse power rule, this bumps up to an exponent of 5. Dividing by that, we have negative 1 fifth u to the fifth plus c. And now I'll just replace uh, u with cosine. So this is negative 1 fifth cosine to the fifth of theta plus c. And there we are. For this problem, I notice that I have an inner function, negative 3 plus ln of 3x, and another function, x, that's the derivative of that inner function. So I'm going to try the technique of substitution on this one. I'm going to let u equal negative 3 plus ln of 3x. And then I can write du equals, well, this negative 3 is gone because it's a constant, uh, derivative of ln of 3x, that's going to be 1 over 3x times a tail of 3. Um, so that really just ends up being 1 over x dx when the dust settles on that one after we apply the chain rule. And then we can write x du equals dx. All right, so I have some things I can substitute back over here in the original. I can now write 5e e to the u over x. And then here, this is going to be x du instead of dx. Conveniently, these x's are going to cancel. So now I just have 5e e to the u du. And just taking the antiderivative of that in terms of u, this is just going to be 5e e to the u plus c. 
And let's go back and plug in the stuff that u equaled. So this is going to be 5e to the negative 3 plus ln of 3x, all of that plus c. On this problem, since it's going to be uh, difficult to simplify this, but I do have an inner function whose derivative is elsewhere in the problem, I'm going to try u substitution. So let me let u equal 1 minus x squared. Then du, the derivative, is going to equal negative 2x dx. And that means dx is really equivalent to du over negative 2x. Going back to the original now, I can make some substitutions. So instead of uh, the square root of all this craziness, let's write x over the square root of u. And then dx, that's going to become du over negative 2x. x's can cancel. I'm going to just rewrite this a little bit as negative 1 half. And then I'll write this as u to the negative 1 half power. Just rewriting it in exponent form so that I can use my reverse power rule on this next step. Using the reverse power rule, this exponent here is going to bump up to a positive 1 half. Dividing by that, we're really multiplying by 2. 2 times negative 1 half is just going to be uh, negative 1. So we end up with negative 1 u to the positive 1 half. All of that was just the reverse power rule right there. And now I can plug this 1 minus x squared term back in for u to get my final answer. For this problem, since I noticed that I have an inner function, x squared plus 1, and uh, its derivative, something with an x elsewhere in the problem, I'm going to try substitution. So let me let u equal x squared plus 1. So then du equals 2x dx. And then we can say that dx really equals du over 2x. Substituting back into the original, we have 4x times e to the u. And then dx is now going to be du over 2x. X is cancel, and 4 over 2 just gives us a 2. So we have just 2e to the u du. Antiderivative of this is just going to be 2e to the u plus c, which is kind of nice. Uh, now I'm just going to replace that u with x squared plus 1 and call it a day. On this problem, it's a little crazy if you try to simplify this first. Um, but what I do notice that might help us is we have an inner function, this negative 1 plus ln of 4x. It's kind of an inner function. Its derivative, something with an x, is also in the problem. So I'm going to at least try out u substitution and see if that works. So we have u equals negative 1 plus ln of 4x, which means I can write du, the derivative, equals, well, let's see here. Negative 1's a constant, so that's gone. Derivative of ln of 4x is 1 over 4x times a tail of 4. Um, so that's really 1 over x dx when all is said and done. Isolating dx, I can write that as x times du. And now if I go back and substitute all that back in the original, I can write 2 over x times u. And dx is now going to be this x du expression. The nice thing about doing that is that these x's are now going to cancel out. So we just have 2 over u du. And now that I just have u's left over, I can uh, just take the antiderivative with respect to u. So this is going to be 2 ln absolute value of u plus c. And as a final step, I'm just going to replace u with this negative 1 plus ln of 4x expression. There we are.